Now you can bring the arcade experience home because your vision is our vision. ColecoVision. You are the player. Because your vision is our vision. The player. In part one of this video, I showed how to modify a Sega Genesis controller to be used on the ColecoVision. Basically, B and C are your two fire buttons, and the directional pad, you know, is your directional control. Now for part two of the modification, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the start button on the Sega Genesis gamepad into the number one button on the ColecoVision. So that way you can start a one-player game without having a second controller plugged in uh, to port 2 or have a, this plugged into a Y cable into port 1. Now also in this modification I'm going to make the A button down here this guy into the, ha the hashtag button. There are some games such as Boulder Dash on the ColecoVision that requires you to push the little hashtag first before you can select a one or two player game. So I will make the A button into the hashtag and I think the hashtag is also used in some games to actually restart the game as well so it'll be a benefit to uh, have the hashtag on this controller. So let's get this thing open back up and we'll do the modification. Alright there's our bare circuit board yet again. Now in order for this modification to work I've got to connect two wires together through a switch the green and yellow wires. So I'm going to use this switch up here. It's going to require me moving some wires here in the back. For example, I'm going to have to move wire 6 here to another location, mainly because in order for me to use the start switch up here, I'm going to use this main bus right here in the circuit trace. Well that right there, wire 6 is controlling right now. So I'm going to move this over to another input, another pin on here, which ends up being right there. So I'll move wire 6 to this hole here. Then I'm going to cut the trace right here to isolate this switch. Then I'm going to put a jumper from wire 4, which is sitting here, over to where wire 6 used to be. And then we'll make a jumper from here. There's the green wire there, but here's another point to connect to. The green wire over to here to get on the other side of this switch. So when I push the start button, it'll send a number one to the ColecoVision and start the game. So let's go ahead and do that. And there's the finished board. Now to recap here real quick, I moved wire six from here to there. Then I made a uh, connection from here to there. Basically what that did, here's the green wire. So I put the green wire over here on this side of the switch. And then I put a jumper, a blob of solder, right here between these two pins. So wire 4, which is yellow, ends up being right here on the outside. And then I cut this right there, that circuit trace. Right there. So you flip, flip it over. Look at the back side of the board. Let's zoom in on this little bad boy here so you can see it better. Oh, focus, you son of a blankety blank. Now right here, this black wire, that's the jumper. I made from R6, this one leg right there, down here to R3. Here's the blue wire, way up here. Angle it around here so you can see it. There we go. Blue wire is right there. Just like that. 
Also, disconnect this number 9 white wire as well and insulate it because it's not needed. All right, now before putting this thing back together, there's another mod I'm going to do besides the start button. And that is to make the A button the hashtag button. Some uh, games, such as Boulder Dash, requires you to hit the hashtag button first and then select one or two players. So this is going to become the hashtag. And the way I did this is first you got to cut this circuit trace right here. Then you got to create a jumper from the green wire, which would have been this circuit trace here, down to this side of the, the switch. Then as you trace this back, you have to put a jumper from this connection here over to this main bus to there. And then you have to install two Zener diodes, one from here to here, which have been the brown wire, and then one from here to here, that would have been the orange wire. So when you press this button, a signal goes out on these two inputs at the same time, which becomes the hashtag on the Clico controller. So now we have our start button wired in, one player game, and now we have the hashtag button for uh, starting uh, games that require that. So let's put this thing back together and give it a try. Alrighty, let's uh, select Boulder Dash. That'll be our test. All right, so if I hit the A button, you see it says push hashtag to start. So I push the hashtag, which would be button A here. There we go. Now it says select one or two players. So this is one player right here. So hit that. Bang! There we go. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. So if I hit the A button again, it should exit right back out of the game. So let's hit the A button. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks for watching. You are the player. Because your vision is our vision. The player. player.